Hello everybody, FunchinX here. Welcome back to another episode of Terra Firma in Motion, the mod pack created by Grimcore. I'm on his server, playing in, I don't know, what is it, the winter time? Uh, early autumn. Some of my trees have just uh, grown. You can see my tree farm is expanding, I mean my fruit farm, fruit tree farm, is expanding. I've got bananas and cherries and oranges and plums and I don't know, tons of other stuff. I'm working right now on brass double plates, uh, bronze double plates, excuse me. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's get those going. So I need to put a double ingot in here and turn it into a sheet. That's what I meant, a double sheet. And we need to uh, shrink this thing up here. Let's see if we get it exactly on. See, sometimes it doesn't get exactly on. And look, it already, already cooled off. Just need to heat it up again. This one's already been worked a little bit. Let's see if we can get it to a sheet. Sometimes they're off by like a half. You see that? Okay, that one's on. Perfect. I know this one is a bend, a punch, and three hits. Works every time for the bronze sheet. And I can start putting these in here now because I'm going to um, weld them together. And this guy is now ready to work again. Put him back to a sheet. Uh, let's try a draw. See if that had a half. There we go. Bend, punch, hit, hit, hit. And we got that guy. Okay, so these should heat up pretty quick. We'll weld those together, weld those together, and that will give me the eight, or is it seven or eight that I need of this? What am I looking to make here? Uh, nope, I need the double sheet here. No, I don't want a trap door. Don't care about trap doors. Oh, there it is. Double bronze. That makes this, the bloomery. All right, that's what we're making right now. All right, so that's weldable. That is weldable. Let's put those in there. Okay. We just need to let those guys heat up. Hopefully they do. Um, you can see I've got uh, seven now. Cool this one off because we don't need it hot for this thing. And as soon as I get the last one, I'll have eight. I just got back from an expedition, a <laughs> three day, well, three real real game, no, in real life expedition, it was multiple days in the game, um, but let's, let's see if these got, have I got time on these? A little bit. Uh, let's look at the map here. Here's the house, here's the community farm, here's spawn. I went, uh, got on a boat, I headed all the way around here, all the way over here, all the way down here. <laughs> uh, my... Couldn't find a way around, so I just got off the boat, traversed across that land. I kept going. Got off the boat, traversed across this land. Back on a boat. <laughs> and got it, went across this land. And this land. And, and, down here. You can see why it took me so long. To this wonderful area. Um, I almost made it to the equator. My furthest Z was native 1406. But I found what I needed, so I didn't go. Um, this is a um, clay stone biome, and uh, Grim tells me there's one even closer than this that was actually about 2,000 blocks away. That was a 13,000 block trip. Oh, that was not what we meant to do. Oh, crap. That's kind of a bummer. <laughs> <sighs> oh, well. Well, we'll get double ingots again. Good thing I had the, uh, the stuff in there, right? Gonna have to go get some uh, more. Can I weld these? Not anymore. Heat them back up. Let's put some of that in there. Let's go get a little bit more charcoal while those keep heating. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, it was 13,000 block trip um, for Kaolinite. I could not find any sedimentary rock. Everything was marble and dialite or dionite or something. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but nothing was sedimentary, so I just couldn't do anything. I couldn't progress, and so I knew that I could find something near the equator, and I just went sailing and sailing and sailing towards the equator until I found what I wanted. Pretty cool, right? Uh, almost, almost cooked them again here. All right, weld them. All right, let's work this one again. I'm going to do this whole thing over again. Come 
Come on, get right on there. Yep. Bend, punch, hit, hit, hit. There we go. Heat that guy up a little bit more. Where'd my charcoal go? But I found a lot of goodies along the way. Um, we found some more saplings. Uh, we found some bauxite. If I ever need aluminum, I don't know if I ever will, but <laughs> I've got bauxite now. Um, yeah, I took a boat. I took about 12, 14 sandwiches. No, four, 16 sandwiches, three jugs of water. Yeah, it was not enough. <laughs> but it was fun. We got it. We got what we needed. We got like four stacks of kilonites, so we're good. Let's get up there. Seems like this draw one does like a half value, so it's nice. Nope, maybe not. There we go. Uh, ah, you cooled off too much. You cooled off. Don't cool off. All right, we'll heat that one back up. It sucks when you when you put them in there for too long. As long as, long as you have molds in there, they won't go away, but you've got to reshape them or reforge them and all that kind of stuff. So today, we're going to get that bloomery. Uh, we're going to start building a little bit, and we're going to try and get this uh, thing that Kalanite is for, which I is uh, crucible. Excuse me. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Shoot. It was all ready. Funshine, what'd you do that for? Okay. Bum, 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 bum. All right, just need to wait till these are weldable. Dark red, dark red. I'm gonna take that one out just a little bit. I want them on the same thing. Okay. So, uh, long story short, this pack involves a lot of exploring, and that can take a lot of time. So if you don't like taking a lot of time to find things, then uh, it might not be the pack for you. I'm hoping once we get to iron and we start getting other mods, though, everything becomes easier. That's, that's my dream, is things just magically become easy. Who knows? Alright, now we got that guy. Cool him off. We can build our bloomery. Oh, we got the quest complete. Sweet. Okay, so that goes like this. And there is our bloomery. Sweet. Iron Age. Let's check these quests out. So this is in blacksmithing. Um, we did this one, which is the eight double bronze sheets. And this allows us going to pick a black bronze ingot or some flux. Or and some flux. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Way to go, Grim. And now we're in the, uh, once we make that bloomery, we get four magnetite, which is actually iron. Um, and this bloomery is used to make, um, I believe, iron. Iron slag, pig iron, I don't know, stuff. But we need some other stuff too. So let's claim this, get the magnetite. Um, you can see here we is the powder. I needed one graphite powder for kaolinite power powder. It gave me some of each. And with that, we're going to make fire clay. Now that recipe is like this. You can see regular clay, four graphite, four kaolinite. And I am starving. Oh my goodness, I'm about to die of hunger. That was close. <laughs> if you do want to know, um, server info, server tops, deaths. Oh yeah, in the lead, five deaths. One of those was four, like... 4k away, I died to a bear. 3k, I don't know, it's like 3,000 blocks straight, and I probably traversed about 4,000 to get there. That sucked. <laughs> I did find S base though, if we look on the map. You can go uh, zoom back to me here. Esk, there's Esk right up here. So he's got a nice little base on, it's on the, it's on a bay, but it snows a lot up there, and so it's fro frequently frozen. Um, I'm just on this little thing. There, there's a nice bay here, and I don't know where this if this is ocean or if this is a big lake, but I think when I start building, I'm actually going to move down here and build on the lake. Maybe right here. It looks pretty flat. I don't know what these things are. Probably rocks. I'm going to check that out. Uh, oh, those are probably trees, like trees that have turned into autumn. Um, okay. Let's get another sandwich or two. What am I eating right now? A venison, apple, tomato, orange, wheat bread on wheat. <laughs> uh, how's our health doing? We're just losing the dairy. That's fine. Uh, we should probably change this venison up to here. We need more protein in our diet. 
Um, unfortunately, I can't do much with the bloomery until I get these, uh, the crucible. I think I need two crucibles, actually, so this could be a while. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut until I get enough fire clay, and we'll come back. If I can't find enough fire clay, then we'll they'll go with building episode and try and build a house. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit when I have something to do. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I went searching through all my storage chests, and I actually found I had eight more graphite powder, which is exactly how much I needed. So yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so we are ready to make the crucible. Now we have to be careful because if we screw this up, we lose it. But we have to nap this fire clay in just the standard shape of like a barrel or whatever like that. And there we get our crucible. Sweet. And that gives us uh, an achievement. It doesn't look like it gives us a quest. Or oh yeah, there we go. So we got that quest. We'll claim those. Cool. All right, and that opens up Iron Age. Look at this. Iron Bloom. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's going to talk about making a bloomery. Let's hold off on that real quick. Go back to this one. It should talk about... Um, yeah, it says that it's going to be napped over crucible into a crucible to allow us to melt down metals quickly over a forge. So let's take this crucible and put it right on top of our forge. Hello, zombie. Oh, are you stuck in there? There we go. <laughs> now he's down there. That's what I tried to show last episode. Didn't quite work. All right. And it gave us this native copper and a considerate. So it looks like it's trying to help us to make some tin. We've got the temperature gauge. We've got the input here. You can see it's not doing anything because it's not hot enough. So you can only put one thing in at a time. Um, it's going to then, this is our like how much is in there. And then this is our output slot. So let's go ahead and heat this thing up. You can still access your forge. It's fine. Um, let's heat her up. There we go. Give her one, one of those. Should heat up and we can melt our copper. Um, we're going to make something else that's going to help us. And that would be a uh, bellows. Now a bellows takes wood and leather. I haven't showed you how to make leather yet, so as soon as this melts, we'll go make one of those. Actually, probably make it first would be better. Let's at least get it going. So when you kill an animal, you're going to get some hides. I should have some hides in here. La large comes from, like, bears and stuff. Medium comes from, like, sheep. You get small hides as well. Um, you're going to want to come over here and make this um, system. I've got two barrels of lime water. Now, to get lime water... Um, you need to put flux in a barrel, okay, of water. So get a barrel of water, put flux in there, and go ahead and seal it. It'll come out as lime water. Then you can put your large hides in there, seal that, and you can see we're going to get soaked hide on the 4th of September. All right, same thing with this one. We'll come back when those are done. When we get the soaked hides, we're going to dry them out on these things, on these logs. Then we're going to wash them off, and then we're going to put them in tannin, to get tannin, you take a log and put it in water. You just want one log for a full barrel. The flux, you have to put a bunch in, like 20 per barrel. The tannin, you just put one log in there. So we'll come back when those are done. And let's see if this thing is heated up enough yet. Okay, it appears it has. It's got copper in there, so let's put our tin in there. Look how fast that melted. It's telling us we've got 10% tin, copper at 90%, so we've got bronze. It's starting to cool off, so if we hurry, we might be able to get this thing out of there. And it's going to slowly fill up. Cool. And that'll give us our 100 units of bronze, and we've got now an ingot. So that is awesome. We don't have to use the stupid ceramic things and the pit kiln anymore to get these ingots. Now we can just do it that way, which is brilliant. Okay, and we're going to put this in a really cool building later right now. It's just kind of out in the open, um, and everything is peachy. Okay, let's go put this ingot, douse it in some water. Esk is online, and we can add it to our bronze stock. Look at these ingots. we got some black bronze, blunt bronze, zinc, gold, and bismuth. Oh, loving it. Look at all these little things. You can put them on the wall, and they make light. They're little crystals, little gems. Hey, recording. Um, have I done anything else? Okay, just want to make sure. 
So, um, tannin, leather, is this... I, think it, I can't remember how many hours it takes. It takes a little while, but you can see our date currently is the 5th of September, hour 6. Uh, I don't know. That's, maybe that was when it started. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it'll be ready on the 4th. Well, it's the 5th. Next year? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what next? Oh, leather. So, when you do... Yeah, well, I'll come back when this is ready, guys. S and S says hi. Okay, guys, we're back. I for some reason I thought this would unseal once it was done, but if we actually look at it, this is now soak tied. You can kind of tell just by the look. Uh, it takes eight in-game hours, so we waited way too long. So we can unseal and take this out. I don't know why I was waiting so long. I just for some reason I I thought it unsoaked it or it unsealed itself when it was done. All right, so the next thing we do is we put it on these um, barrel oh, logs. You need to have the logs sideways, and then you need to put it on top. So that's your two things you have to do. And if you look at this, um, another torch here, just a little bit brighter. There's 16 little spots on this leather, and you've got to right click with a knife on every single one. Be careful that your knife doesn't break while you're doing this and you accidentally click on it with an open hand because then you will um, start the process over again. So now I've got a medium scraped hide. I'll do those later. The scraped hide goes in the water. Seal it in there. And we'll get medium prepared hide, which looks like that. So as soon as the little spots go out of it, we're good. And I believe that takes eight hours as well. Uh, we can tell by going here and hit root. Uh, Recipe or usage on that. I don't know. It's not working. There we go. So yeah, eight hours again. Eight in-game hours to do that. As soon as you do that, you get the um, the prepared hide. You put that in tannin and you get leather. All right. So all of that process. That's why I've got those barrels laid out as I have. We get the leather like this. Eight hours of thing in a tannin. All right, now what can you do with leather? There's tons of stuff, but one thing you can do is nap it into armor. And it only takes one piece of leather per armor slot, so you'll notice I have a full set of leather armor to go with that helm we got a while ago. Um, but the other thing to do is to get some wood and craft six wood with three leather. And you get, uh, not what I was talking about, maybe it's lumber? Maybe we need a leather belt? I don't know. Um, Shaped, shapeless. Let's find it. Come on. There it is. Oh, yep, it is with lumber. Ah, uh, fail. And I don't have enough. Give me this log, please. Alright, now we have enough. For the bellows. Now the bellows you put aimed at, I guess aimed over top of a forge. So I'm going to put it like right here. And you can see that if you click on it, it makes a cool little sound and it blows air at your forge. And that will actually heat it up. Normally a forge with charcoal or whatever can only get up about this like just before the yellow. Um, but if you, should we heat it up? Sure, whatever. <laughs> we'll heat it up here. Um, I'm gonna light it. There we go. You know, it's gonna slowly start heating up. If I do this, it's gonna consume the fuel twice as fast, which is fine because it's also gonna heat twice as fast. You can see it's actually gonna. I don't know why it's not doing its animation all the time. But now it's heating it up a lot faster than normal, and uh, so that saves us some time. But it also allows for much higher temperatures. Some metals require a little bit higher temperature to melt, that kind of thing. Also, it gets us to a melting point sooner. Awesome. So what do I have in here that I can melt down? Should we melt down our bauxite? Yeah, sure, let's take some bauxite here. How many units? That's going to be four ingots worth. Okay, let's get some aluminum. Oh, look at that. That melting temperature is like crazy. Oh, no, it's cooling off. It's cooling off charcoal in there I'm gonna need four of these oh did you see how hot that was getting 
Apparently it's not hot enough now. I don't know. Don't, don't, I need you. This is weird, it like cools off way too quick. The bauxite is melting, but it won't go into the mold. This is not hot enough for that. Oh, there it goes. Has to be hot enough. Alright, we got plenty. It does think that you can't stack these up. I wish there was like a little output slot or something, but that's alright. We got our four aluminum ingots. I have no idea what aluminum's even used for in this. It doesn't seem to be alloyed with anything. Um, aluminum ingots, yeah. Well, I guess there is some stuff when we get into some mods later on. That's fine. Okay, guys, well, I think that's going to do it. We saw how to make the leather. We made a bloomery, which we'll actually build next time. It's a multi-block structure, but we've got, the, like, the main block built. Um, so we'll make that bloomery. We'll try and make, like, a forge building, you know, so all these things can fit nicely in there. And, uh, yeah, we'll get, we'll get going with some iron, get into the Iron Age. If you guys liked the episode, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Catch you later. Bye.